Hi, welcome to Mars Campers. Setting up your camper is simple and trouble free. We're going to show you how to set up your hard floor camper. This video covers the tent and annex set up for the following models, Vanguard, Galileo, Extremo, Challenger and Camo. Even though models do vary, the tent setup is the same. Before disconnecting the trailer, we'll need to lower the jockey wheel. Once that's fixed in place, then the handbrake. Then of course we need to disconnect the trailer from the car, which means disconnecting our safety chains, disconnecting our electrical socket from the trailer, and of course, don't forget, disconnect the plug like so. One tip here is remembering, once you've reconnected the trailer to the vehicle, make sure that you put the jockey wheel back up or you're going to have a pretty bumpy ride home. Now, lower the trailer stabilising legs. You'll note that there are three positions. Take the wrench and you can adjust the height of the trailer to stabilise it and also make your camper level. Next objective, raise the winch pole to the highest position, hole number five. Release about 1.5 metres of strap. Lock the winch ratchet. Connect the strap to the handle on the hard floor lid. Unclip the four latches holding down the lid. Use the winch to open the lid. Once inside the tent, we need to extend the hood bows up by pushing firmly on the centre of each bow and then locking off our lock tabs. Now we're going to set up our tent annex. Included in the kit is a bag of tricks which have our tent pegs, our guy rope and all the poles we need to put up the annex. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm just going to use what I need to get the structure up. So I'm just going to show you these poles spring together like so. You'll notice on one end there's an eyelet and on the other a hook. This will go onto our main tent. Now, there are three of those. Next, we have our long tent pole with a spike on one end, a stopper on the other. Now, included in the three are the two shorter ones. That's a total of three tent poles. Then, last, we have our two ridge beams. These will have an eyelet on each end. A little tip is when you go to put these struts up, make sure that you have the eyelet facing downwards or you run the risk of rubbing a hole in your good canvas ceiling. Now we're going to put the tent frame up. It's important to lower the main tent so that you can access the little holes that are on the corners of the hood bow in order to be able to put the hook in. This can be a bit of a fiddle, but with practice, you'll be able to manage it. Now we have our annex frame up, it's time to zip on the annex roof, while the main tent is still lowered. Now we're going to fit the kitchen draft apron. 
Now we're going to set up the floor and walls. A handy little tip when wanting to bring the blind up is to fold it into quarters like you might a parcel. Roll it up and tuck it neatly under the pelmet. As you can see, we now have our hard floor Mars camper trailer fully set up. I've had a lot of fun putting this up and I'm sure you'll have the same experience. It's just a great piece of work. Setting up your camper should be a fun and hassle-free experience. Be sure to arrive at your destination on time in order to set up in the daylight. Before leaving on your trip, set up your camper at home to familiarise yourself with the process. All Mars campers are treated with a hydrophobic polymer for waterproofing purposes. As you plan your next trip, there's a few important things to remember before setting off. It might seem pretty obvious, but to make sure that you've retracted your stabiliser legs, your jockey wheel, and that you've in fact connected the trailer to the car properly. Just a quick look around will save you a lot of grief. You'll have a safe trip home, and I wish you all the best. Thanks for watching.